Aggressive at the plate, Tim Anderson. 2021 ALDS, away we go, and a slider to start from McCullers and Mayhew last year. A 1-0. Fouled away, and it's 1-1. One one. Interesting, McCullers' first pitch of the game. The 28-year-old comes home with a 1-1. There's the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. Just turned 28 last Saturday, the Tampa native with a 1-2. Check swing on the slider. Two balls and two strikes is where it really feels bigger. 2-2. Two -two. Slider, there it is. Gets the strikeout. Junior. Switch hitter is Yoan Moncada batting lefty. He faces a shift and looks at a strike. He's in last year, Moncada. Evens the counter to ball and a strike. Different field. No crowd last year. No fans. A roller back up the line and foul. Just complete different atmosphere now. Away from home. A 1-2. Golfs it the other way. Coming in is Brantley. Tested early. And he's got it for out number two. Non-COVID illness. It was confirmed. It was not a COVID-related illness. But general flu-like symptoms. He did not travel with the team in White Sox lineup until an hour before first pitch. Abreu punches it foul, and it's quickly nothing and two. He's in the lineup today, and I don't think there's any surprise by that. <laughs> no, there was no way. Jose Abreu is the undisputed leader of this White Sox. Upstairs. Really good against the Sox. A one-two. There's that breaking ball down and away. Just watch the movement on that slider. <laughs> That's kind of Back home with a two-two to Abreu. And the count runs full. So Abreu being down 0-2 has. Abreu fouls it away. Another 3-2. Slider fouled away. I mean, we're in. Looks like a strike and just darts to our right. Fastball in on the hands. Punched out to Tucker in right. And it's a 1-2-3 first for McCullers that they're here for the postseason. Top of the second, and Yasmani Grandal leads things off against Lance McCullers Jr. Breaking ball, or torn tendon in his left knee. He has been red hot. Waves through a fastball, and McCullers quickly ahead, nothing in two. Than he did before that. Aggressive here, and that McCullers breaking stuff is on point early. Here's Luis Robert. He likes to go after the first pitch, and the first pitch ends up hitting him. McCullers just missed. Starts him off with a slider that just tails off the plate. This is not a white side. The other factor to that, and you know this as well as anybody, AJ, the guy behind the plate. In for an arm and cutting down runners. A 1-1. Staying away from Eloy Jimenez, who's got prodigious power. At his best. Ten home runs in 55 games this year. Early from the Astros. Jimenez lifts it in the air. It'll be Tucker in. And Robert back to the bag at first. Two away. With a runner at first and two out in the second. Robert goes. Maldonado fires. Here we go. Tag is in time. Oh, welcome back to Minute Maid Park. Lance McCullers back on the mound. We're joined by Chicago manager Tony La Russa. Ten years. That last inning, Houston goes the other way twice on cutters. What have you seen early on from Lance? Well, I, I've seen the punt. The way, I always like the way he competes, and he's throwing the ball well. Real quick, we saw Luis Robert get hit by the pitch. Any lingering? Tom, thank you very much. We appreciate Tony La Russa's time. Gavin Sheets, the rookie, leading things off for the White Sox here in the top of the third. Down, trying to steal second. 2-2. Two, two. Backdoor breaking ball. That was nasty. Third strikeout for McCullers. All on Engel. And therefore a strike on a slider. We said he has done nothing but pinpoint both breaking balls to righties and lefties. And if he's able to continue. 1-1. One, one. Back to the mound. McCullers clean to first. That's the first ground ball out for 
shift is on for Garcia switch hitter batting lefty. He takes the first pitch so one time through the order and outside of a. Well, I expect that to change second time through. They're sure. not going to wait around. There's a strike. They don't want to get to the breaking ball. Right. So if you're hitting off land of the plate. But if you're Garcia that's the one I want to hit. You get deeper into counts and in particular throw it off the plate but he's going to go to a breaking ball to put you away. There's a breaking ball there and he clips the edge of the strike zone. Down and away. Count runs full on Garcia. For Anderson back at the top. Payoff pitch to Garcia. Breaking ball is rolled foul. Base this year that's where he's at for this game one. A 3 2. Hard hit, but into the shift. Correa makes the play. Another 1 2 3 McCullers Jr. inning. To the fourth we go, a 3 0 Houston lead, and Tim Anderson will take ball one from Lance McCullers Jr. and up the game. Tim Anderson, we've talked about it. I think a lot of people got a celebrating. When it's that swagger, it's that confidence. Some would say, I think around the league, some other. The 77 year old taking over as manager. He's kind of given those guys leeway to handle things. And energy. He's contagious if you're around him for five minutes. But overall, it seems like it has meshed quite well. Anderson to Correa, the two shortstops. One away. And all that. And he's fit in. And I think we showed a photo. We did a game earlier. We showed a photo. There was a photo out of Tony LaRusso. Kind of it was, hey, players adjust to me. I'll adjust to you. And that's why they're where they're at. Cool. Yeah, I love those uniforms are outstanding, by the way. Nice backdoor breaking ball from the colors to get his ways. He's stuck in his ways, but he has made adjustments. Hard hit ball from Moncada, and he's got the first White Sox base hit of this game. It's a one out single in the fourth. Now to bring up a Bray who has led the majors in double plays hit into the last three years. Most pitch goes a Bray's way. One on next to give them a chance in this game. Comes back with a strike, does McCullers, one and one. Well, this is certainly a lineup to do it at its best. It's hard to gauge what the White Sox often. Everybody's kind of learning a little bit what these lineups are constructed like in this setting. One and two on Abreu. Grandal, what this guy's breaking ball. One, two. There is a breaking ball, and Abreu lays off. Two and two. A two, two pitch to Abreu coming. There's the slider that just missed, and Tom Verducci, that came very close. That's a vertical movement. It's mostly all horizontal. Runner goes, ground ball to short. They stay out of the double play with the run. Abreu retired by Correa. Moncada into scoring position with two. Of what a curveball should feel like coming out of the hand. Well, we'll start with a backdoor breaking ball to Grandal, who's batting left-handed. The switch hitter will take. There's a 1-0. Goes back to that pitch and this time gets it over the plate for a strike. Velocities. Down and away to Grandal. He's ahead on the count two and one. Grandal the PS despite hitting under 200 at points this year. The guy who works a lot of counts. Out in the fourth and a 2-2 pitch coming from McCullers. Back to the breaking ball inside. He go with his strength, which has been the breaking balls. Breaking ball back to McCullers. Leaves a man in scoring position. It's 3-0 Astros to the bottom of the fourth. To the fifth we go. Astros lead game one 5-0. Lance McCullers Jr. There's the slider and misses down and away. It's a White Sox lineup that hasn't had a lot of looks at McCullers overall. Anderson, Cena, Moncada, a brother. Every out he steals now, every out he gets, just less out, less stress on the bullpen. One, two on Robert. Well, the White Sox need somebody to get going at Fielster when he hit that titanic home run against Oakland. 
Well, check swing towards third. Bregman makes the play. Robert using his speed, and that throw was a little high. And there is another one of year. That's a tough error. Yep. Jimenez went after that first slider. Nothing and won the count. Robert took off and was cut down earlier in this game. We'll see how aggressive he is, if at all. The 1 1. Jimenez fouls it at the plate. We were reading a Banfest event, said that he thinks Robert is the next Mike Trout. He is staring at that fastball at the knees right there. He had something to say to Adam Hammery about it. Power, he has the speed, he has the defense. He might have a better arm than Mike Trout. But to put that comparison on a guy, that's a lot, especially early in a game. There's a lot of great players and a lot of potential. But a lot of people think Robert is that guy. Where Maldonado already cut him down yeah. once. He's going to stand right there. Now two balls and a strike to Gavin Sheets. 2-1. On the ground, tough play. Altuve to a recovering Guriel to get the out at first. On to second base goes Robert. Here's Adam Engel. One of the narratives about the White Sox is, well, they can't beat the good team. Oh, season? Yes. I'm sure you could argue no. Yes. But based on this team's track record, this has got to be the time. Great team beat up on the lesser teams. But it's what you do, especially for kind of, yes, I know, very well. 2-1 to Engel. To short and Correa. Good hustle by Engel, but Correa's arm gets the out at first. Another. Number nine hitter in the White Sox order is Leury Garcia. Leading thing. Seven of the last eight outs have been via ground ball for McCullers. Trying to make it another one here. Guriel to McCullers, and he got him. Debut during the postseason, that was last year. Eduardo Rodriguez is back for the Red Sox. Tim Anderson, first pitch swinging. Altuve loads it up. And a couple of ground ball outs to start this inning for Lance McCullers Jr., which has been up and down this year for the Astros. Here's Moncada. Still has the lone White Sox hit. It was a single in the fourth. One and one. Was picked up over the last few years to bolster this roster. The Chris Sale trade was probably a starter in the future at some point. Those are big dividends to come back to Chicago. Two balls and a strike. Cotta. In the air to right. Tucker back. Still moving towards the track. Has to reach up to make the catch. All oh, postseason long. Four strikeouts for McCullers thus far. In fact, the Sox staff has seven strike game. Tonight, with the way McCullers, he's just got weak contact in a lot of it. Back up the middle, and he's got a base hit to lead off this seventh inning. Well, shift is on for Grandal. Turns that one over for a breaking ball strike. Nothing in one. Phil Maton has begun to. Tom Verducci, this guy was a first round pick in 2012, the same draft that they picked. Lucas Giolito now with the White Sox. Giolito went 16th overall to the Nationals. McCullers at number 41 in the draft. Well, they gave him the equivalent money of a number 12 pick. Well, and by the way, five high school pitchers drafted in the first round that year. McCullers the only one with his original team. Got a turn two behind McCullers, and he is fired up. Play. Great story, Tom. I just wonder, is Correa... There's a base hit for Luis Robert into left field. Does Correa Davison. ever hit McCullers up for, like, dinner or anything <laughs> to try to make up for that 2.6 mil? Two. Up and in on Eloy. This is the first inning that... Big cut on that off-speed. 
One and two the count. One, two. The strikeout total we showed for both teams. The way McCullers is pitched. Best season of McCullers' career so far. Three and two the count on Jimenez. Is in the seventh. To center field and down for a base hit. And Robert will hold up at second. That was a hard hit ball right to Myers. So he has to hold up after a bag.